Turkey, the U.S. Embassy in Ankara has been closed due to a security threat involving Daesh. We can get the latest now with TRT World's Turkey political correspondent, Andrew Hopkins, who is outside the embassy. So uh, tell us the details we know so far, Andrew. Well, Shuli, actually, we've just heard that the embassy is now going to be closed tomorrow as well because of this uh, security threat. But the state news agency here in Turkey, Anadolu Agency, uh, has been giving some more information about a number of anti daesh operations that have been taking place in Turkey over the past 24 hours or so. One of them in particular in Samsun, a northern province of Turkey on the Black Sea coast where uh, they say that uh, four Iraqi nationals have been detained as part of uh, an investigation into an alleged possible attack on the U.S. Embassy in Ankara here uh, behind me. There have been other operations as well being carried out here in the capital. Uh, Twenty uh, arrest warrants been issued, 12 people held, all of them foreigners, we understand, all uh, in connection with allegations that they've been recruiting for Daesh. Now, the Turkish Deputy Prime Minister Bekir Bozdar has been giving some information in the last few, few hours about how, how all this uh, information came to light. Let's have a listen to uh, what he had to say. The U.S. Embassy has shared some of the information it has with Turkish intelligence and security units. Our units have now taken the necessary precautions. Through these investigations, we have obtained important results. Now, it seems that uh, whatever other problems they have between Turkey and the United States at the moment, the problems over U.S. support for YPG and other issues in relations between the two countries, it does seem that they're still uh, cooperating on particular levels. There are still, st still some relations going on and they are concerned to try and ensure the, the uh, security of both the United States and Turkey.